All right, the last one of these three short videos. Uh, I might do this again later. There might be more, but these are just three that I'm doing in a row, as you can see, because I'm dressed the exact same. So uh, last one for now is my use of missions. And this is actually very recent, but it has worked miracles for me. So let me tell you what I mean by working with missions. I used to have issues with discipline. I would let myself off the hook on not doing things. I would blame chaos. I would blame not having the time. I would blame, or I would not blame, I would just say, you know what, I can do it tomorrow. So I would let myself off the hook a lot, which made me believe that I am unable to see things through. That is the effect of that, right? Now, here's the question. If you start to believe that you are unable to see things through, that says something about your personality. And that, that kind of sucks. So I like to challenge that every now and then. So I challenge that. Am I not able to see things through? Or am I able to see things through, but just not capable yet of getting that discipline going? Because here's the thing, I can go to work on time. I can show up for work on time. I can take my work seriously. I take my clients seriously. I take all the paperwork seriously. And I am damn good at it too. So apparently I do have discipline. But I have discipline either if I get paid for it or if someone else expects it of me or if I feel responsible for someone else's well-being. Apparently, those are the triggers for me to do have discipline. So apparently, me not being able to is BS. So how do I do it? How do I make sure that I can show up for me in a similar fashion that I show up for work? Because I will tell you one thing. If I can show up for work, it is absolutely ridiculous that I would not be able to show up for me. Because I should be, to me, 100% more important than work. Because work is something you do. It is something where, yes, you are valuable, but someone else could do it as well. And I can show up for that and not for me. That is not a reality I want to live in. That is not acceptable with me. So I needed to change that. That means that I needed to figure out a way to get that discipline going for me. And that meant that I needed to up my confidence and I needed to figure out a way to actually be able to see through what I am telling myself I'm going to do. And I know that it does not work for me to simply write down a to-do list of things I should do because that is way too easy to move to a different day. Oh, that just didn't get done. Oh, there's this entire list. Well, I don't know which one's important, so I'm just gonna pick the easy ones. And then you can pick the easy ones each day and the ones that are a little more difficult. You can keep moving them aside. That doesn't work for me. It is too loosey-goosey, right? So I needed something more effective. So here's what I started to do. I have started to write in a journal a mission for the day. And I use the actual word mission. I have learned that that works, word works miracles for me. Because if I set a mission for myself, now it becomes something that feels important. And if you fail a mission, it feels high stakes. And it feels like something you want to investigate. Why did I not do that? I made it a mission. This was important to me. So why did I not see it through? That means you are going to investigate. You are going to get inside of yourself to figure out what the hell happened. And then you can redo the mission tomorrow in a more effective way. And if you do do it, you get to figure out, how did I get this successful all of a sudden? And you can actually... Transcribe the wins and transcribe what happened, what, what happens, what works for you. 
So either you get information on how to do it better, or you get information on how to gain success. And that does miracles for your confidence. So just writing a mission, and it can be anything, but I suggest you do something that is slightly out of your comfort zone and something that is just not a regular thing. Like, let's say you got the tax, uh, the tax season coming up. You may want to push that forward for weeks. Or you can make it a mission to at least get all the paperwork ready. Make that a mission of one day. And then two days later, go fill out the taxes. No reason to not do it if that is your mission for that day. You can do a million things as well. But if that is your daily mission, you better do it because you chose that. And if you don't do it, you are accountability. You, got, you are accountable for not doing that. And you're going to wonder why. So make your to-do list and do a separate. But get the thing that you find difficult and make that a mission. And that means like, a mission, usually like in the military or anywhere else, if you have a mission, you have a mission plan, you get some strategies, you do all that. So you can like think it out. You can figure out what do I need to do this? And you can write it out. I personally don't, but if that helps you, write down the steps that you want to take. Make it a several day mission if you need that. But use the word mission and, and hold yourself accountable for both the fails, the halfways, and the successes. And build from there. Personally, the word, the word mission made the world of difference. So I would just advise you to try that out. If, like me, you are like a procrastinator or someone who has some issues with discipline, just try out that, that particular word. And don't make the mistake of getting your entire to-do list in there because that is bs a to-do list is just things like a habit that's just little things i'm talking about those big things i'm talking about those important things make the missions one or two things a day and no more than that the rest of it you can have a separate list and just and just check that off you can have your own agenda you can have all those things but just that daily mission to keep you on point to keep yourself accountable to your own actions and to learn that discipline, to learn that putting your future self in front of your current self. Where the seal change you this, by the way, that particular line. Very cool one. I will repeat it. Putting your future self in front of your current self so that in the future you can look back and be proud of who you are. And so that your future self can have the best life and you are making that happen right now. So I just want to get that one in there as well. Just remember that. And again, courtesy of Chase Hughes. And yeah, practice that discipline and try those missions. Just, just see if it works for you. Works for me. So that's the last one. A little longer, but still under the 10 minute mark. So I'm going to count that as another George one. See you guys in the next video, and that might be a long one again, or another short one, no idea. See you guys next time. Bye.